Today we are going to be hunting with the new Arzina 300 and we're going to compare it to the 300 Magnum hunting big game animals. That's right. Today we do have early access to the high caliber weapon pack that comes out on Tuesday, which is March the 12th on all three platforms at the same time. So look at that. The new 300 AR has five shots, whereas the 300 Magnum only has four. We're also going to check out a few things from the new update. Now check out the insane lack of recoil when I fire the 300 AR for the very first time. Here we go. It's crazy. Got him. Already dropping. Yes. I have been in love with the 300 Magnum forever. It has been my absolute favorite weapon in the entire game. And now I think I might have a new favorite. So the new 300 AR does use the exact same ammo as the 300 Magnum. It is also good from classes seven to nine, but it has considerably less recoil from what I can see already. Now, bear in mind, I do have three points in recoil management and if you don't have that yet I do highly recommend it it is under shotgun perks and there it is right there recoil management you definitely want three points here if you are doing any grind or shooting more than one animal at the same time ever so everyone needs three points in recoil management hey my dude could you do me a, a solid and find me those moose pretty please I'll even give you some love we're negotiating <laughs> okay here is our first moose now that was on an angle but look at the penetration it looks pretty good but we definitely need a perfectly broadside moose to test it to see if we can actually get double lung with the new 300 ar on moose because moose are tanks and here is our second buddy and again it was on an angle and we did not manage to get double lung okay we need to find a perfectly broadside moose and test that again then we're gonna do it with the 300 magnum and see how they compare now guys let me know in the comments which weapon in the new high caliber weapon pack that you are most excited for and i would love to know what your absolute favorite weapon in the game is now somewhere in the video guys i am going to share a key phrase drop that in the comments for your chance to hunt with lady in a video now if you are on console then it would be a voice chat in discord also included in a video drop that key phrase in the comments to win and we're gonna dive right into it let's find some more moose so here it is here is the arzina 300 mag tactical in the store once you do purchase the high caliber weapon pack all three of the weapons it includes will be free in the store weapons that come with maps you have to pay for and weapons that come in weapon packs are free once you do purchase the dlc and there is the new shotgun this is the strandberg 10 sa 10 gauge executive so it has four rounds which is pretty sweet and there is the 4570 Jernberg Superior handgun. So this baby has one shot. We are gonna test them all out today, but mainly we're gonna be playing with the 300s. So one thing I also wanted to show you is when you come into the storage locker, go to binoculars, look at the night visions. They look completely different. Look at that. But you can actually now customize binoculars and range finders. So let's do that right now. All these small little changes are very cool. And here are the new high caliber skins that come with the DLC and look at this this one is called carbon black metal oh my gosh that is stunning love it I don't know if I love the orange I think we're gonna put a pattern with it okay what do you think of that this is actually a Halloween skin but you can't really tell and I think that looks pretty sweet so we're gonna go with that done love it now let's have a look at the new gen zeros they look pretty darn cool now let's try out this new skin pretty funky what about that one? Ooh, i like that one i think for night vision though we should go with something super bright and those are my new night visions pretty bright but definitely stands out all right look at this guys we have a five medium moose we have two five medium moose oh my gosh that is insane well <laughs> We definitely found a broadside moose or two. All right, I am gonna be using the new 300 AR and hopefully we will have our first diamond. They couldn't both be trolls, could they? They actually could, but they're not gonna be. No way, that would just be mean. 
Okay, let's try that again on our two five medium moose. That is so crazy. This is my moose grind right where I left off the last time we grinded. Oh, you're gonna go for a walk. No, don't do that. All right, I. we have a female blocking our shot. Okay, we have them broadside. I changed the time and that did the trick. Now I'm gonna shoot them before they move. So here we go. This is the new 300 AR. <laughs> They're already moving. Dude, thank you. Settle down. Okay, two level five moves side by side. How perfect is that? Here we go. Oh my gosh. Did I hit it? I don't think I did hit it. Man, there's like no recoil. Okay, and splat and double splat. They are down. Yeah. I think the new 300 reload animation is definitely faster, but let's actually put them on the screen and compare them side by side. Okay, so right here we have the 300 on the right, the 300 Magnum, and we have the AR300 on the left. So there you have it. That's very interesting. So that's proof that the 300 Magnum does take a little bit longer to reload than the 300 AR does. He is absolutely beautiful, but is he a diamond? He is not. <laughs> but, man, he was on more of an angle than I realized. We broke through the scapula and we got left long, so we did get a good shot. And for breaking through the scapula, that is pretty darn good, but not a diamond. I really hope the other one is. Okay, my dude, I don't know if he is either. I think they might both be trolls. <laughs> oh my gosh, double trolls. Oh, that's just mean. That is mean. And because of the angle, we did just get a single lung shot. I need a perfectly broadside moose back to the drawing board. Well, that was very disappointing. I can't believe they were both trolls. Rip city. Okay, well, let's go to another zone. Okay, we're gonna try that one more time. These look pretty broadside to me. And this is the 300 AR. Here we go once again. Like no recoil. He moved. You moved on me. Not dropping. Dude. Well, I don't think we got a vital on the second one. Okay, here is our broadside moose. Finally, double lung, baby. Look at that. It just made double lung. Just. Of course, we did have a tiny angle there, but I'd say that is pretty much, it's not perfectly broadside. Now let's do it with the 300 Magnum. Okay, we have some more moose here. Delightful. This time we're going to be using the 300 Magnum. Now pay attention to the recoil. There, that guy's pretty much broadside. Side. I don't know if I can get two big ones, but I'm gonna try. Here we go. Oh, that is a lot more and could not recover in time and I needed to turn my light off. I'll try and get them on the run. No! Okay, we got one, good enough. Okay, and here he is. And we only got single lung. And that was perfectly broadside from 156 meters. So there you go. Better penetration with the 300 AR. It is proven. And we all know that moose are tanks. All right, let's go shoot some black bears. Okay, so this time we're gonna take down two bears. Let's see how fast we can do it with the new 300 AR. Oh my gosh, I am, I can take my time with the second shot. And he went splat. Oh my gosh, the recoil is literally non-existent. I am in love. How you doing, my dude? And we got stomach, liver, and left lung, and holy. Okay, that is insane penetration. I'm a little taken aback by that. It almost went right through this bear and out the other side. I don't think the 300 Magnum can do that. And again, holy, that's on an angle. Right lung, liver, and stomach. Maybe I should do another bear grind. Just kidding. <laughs> I will eventually, not immediately. Now, talking about bug fixes, which is always a hot topic. You know how the animals were glitching a lot by the water? Well, it has been fixed somewhat, but it is not perfect. EW is going to continue to work on the problem, but you should see an improvement. So we're gonna pay attention. Now I only have one bear here. So this is the 300 Magnum. 
definitely has more recoil. All right, so here is our bear. Oh yes, we are definitely getting better penetration with the 300 AR. Let's actually take two images, both with similar shots. We're gonna line them up on the screen here and compare the two. Look at that, that is so interesting. Now there is a difference in the distance, but being at a lower distance, I should have gotten more penetration, not less. So that is very interesting. Okay, we are back in Silver Ridge Peaks and that is my first bear at 6.30 in the morning. And let's have a look at the zone. It says 20 to zero and four to eight. That's interesting. Now it's a level three. That's a little frightening. I don't like that very much. <laughs> <laughs> so with this update, guys, there is a brand new black bear drink time, which is from four to eight. The thing is, in order to get your black bears to the new drink time, you do have to shoot them in the nighttime drink time and they will respawn in the morning. So they're gonna be drinking with Rocky Mountain Elk and they're not gonna be spooking each other. So that is a very good thing. But in tomorrow's video, we will be checking out the new black bear grind in the morning. And look at this, guys. We have a nine legendary black bear here. So maybe, just maybe, we can take down our first diamond if we don't get trolled again with the new 300 AR. And so far, this is the only lake that I have been to on these four lakes. Well, that's not true. These two lakes had no elk, and these two were pretty loaded with rock. Rocky Mountain Elk. Okay, here we go. Move out of the way, my dude. Okay, I think one got away, but that's all right. Oh, it is so nice to be grinding bears in broad daylight. Yes. And we do have our first diamond with the 300 AR. And look at the crazy penetration. That shot was a little far back, actually. A little on the scary side, but first diamond, baby. Very sweet. Almost makes me want to start another black bear grind. Almost. <laughs> No, I do want to do another black bear grind in daylight. Just not immediately. I need a little bit of a breather first. So we are definitely going to head to Red Deer. And then maybe, maybe we will come back and do some more black bear. Okay, so we are now in Savannah. And it is time to shoot some Cape Buffalo. So we're going to start with the 300 mag tactical. Hopefully one of them will go aggressive. So that we can shoot it with the rhino. And try out the new speed loaders. We're also going to shoot a cape with the new 4570 Jernberg handgun. We haven't used that yet, so we definitely need to try that out. And why don't we shoot a cape with a slug in the new 10 gauge? Okay, we have a beautiful mythical. I don't love the angle. I don't even know if I can get to the heart. I think I'll probably end up hitting the head. Why don't I shoot right here? He's going down. It's like there is absolutely no recoil. It's completely insane. I can't believe it. It's shocking. <laughs> we did all right. And no one is going aggressive on us. Okay, one of our buffaloes is floating, but we do have the other one and it is a mythical and we managed a left lung shot from 140 meters and for a buffalo, that's pretty decent penetration. I would love if in an update we had increased floater speed. Who is with me? I don't think I can get him. No! I have a question for you guys. Do you think the floaters could float any slower? <laughs> This is insane. It might reach me by the time I'm retiring. <laughs> I don't know, this is crazy. I hope the floater floating this slowly is not from this update. I hope this is a one-off because if they all float at this speed, I'm just gonna give up on all floaters, period. Well, the one thing you can do with floaters, guys, is put the time forward by one minute and it will actually end up on the shore. Oh, now he's floating faster. It's about time. Okay, it's like maybe he was stuck on the ground. I don't know, but compared to what he was doing, he is now speed floating much better. That was really weird. Now I would have done that, but I don't have a tent around me. Okay, it's about time. And very similar because we did have exactly the same angle. So we need to find some broadside capes. Okay, this is beautiful. Please do not block in my cape. Okay, we have a perfectly broadside cape. We are gonna shoot once again with the 300 AR. Might do it from standing. That's the one, okay. 
think we've got two broadside. Beauty! And a little bit faster reload and a big splat. He did not go far. How come the rest of them are chickens? No one wants to challenge me? Can't say as I blame them. Okay. Still not a perfectly broadside shot. There's no weapon in the game that will double lung a Cape Buffalo. They are just tanks. It's not crazy penetration, but let's shoot the 300 Magnum and see what happens with that. Did we get two? Okay, and here is our second cape. Definitely an angle, but we got a lot more penetration that time. Interesting. Still not quite all the way to the second lung, but that gives me hope that maybe we could get a double lung with a perfectly broadside shot. It's just not that easy to find. All right, let's find some more capes. We need to shoot them with the 300 Magnum. Okay, we have an aggressive cape. Let's go. Okay, so I have the Rhino. So we get to try out the speed loader. That's right, don't be chickening. Oh, and a splat. He is down. Okay, I'm gonna reload. Now watch carefully because if you blink, you might miss it. Oh, done. That is crazy. Before it would have unloaded the other four bullets and then it would have reloaded every single shot, all five of them, one by one, we would still be reloading right now. The speed loaders for the pistols are crazy amazing. So this is a new change. I like that. Before it used to cut off the rest of the text and you couldn't see everything that was hit. It is small, but I can read it. So we got right scapula. We blew through the scapula, and because we were so close, we did get a double lung. But this is the rhino. The rhino is a powerhouse, and we were at 15 meters, so there isn't much that is stronger in the game than the rhino, especially with the flat nose hard cast bullets. But that speed loader is crazy. But why don't we shoot the next cape we find with the new Jernberg 4570. It is good for classes four to nine. Now I would imagine it'll be a little wimpy on cape, but let's find out. Okay, hopefully that is fairly broadside. Now this is the 300 Magnum. And splat! It still is a powerhouse. Okay, so we have a bit of an angle there. We're not even gonna get close to double lunging. I think there's just no hope, but that was the 300 AR and this is the 300 Magnum. Now that is the small part of the liver, so you are gonna get more penetration there. But we got double lung heart on the second shot. That was a pretty crazy lucky shot, if I do say so myself. But we're gonna have to find more cave to properly test out the 300 Magnum. Okay, I think I have a perfect broadside cape. Okay, we're gonna shoot him with the 300 Magnum. There we go. Should have got two there. Oh, and four shots and we are done. Oh my gosh. Okay, should we try the Jernberg? Are you gonna chicken out? You're chickening, come on. Well, we'll have to try that in a moment. All right, there is our left lung shot. So I'd say pretty similar penetration with both of the 300s on a Cape Buffalo. Okay, so now we are gonna try the new Jernberg. Now it zeroes up to 200 meters. Okay, that's pretty sweet. So this is also included in the high caliber weapon pack. It only has the one shot and it zeroes in at 50, 100, and 200 meters. So we're gonna zero to 100 here and see how we do. Might have to stand straight up. Here we go. And we're gonna do the reload animation. One shot, better make it a good one. And we're gonna see how far we have to track a cape. Okay, so we got a vital and already the cape has dropped down to 50%. So I don't think we're gonna be tracking him very long. 25, it's doing better than I expected it to. Okay, so he went 125 meters, that's it. Holy, we got a left lung shot. Not a lot of penetration, but it definitely did do the job. So that was from 124 meters. Oh my gosh, guys, they have definitely enhanced this. This is different since the update and it is stunning. Wow, look at the reflection and the orange. That is beautiful. But what I wanted to show you is that Gamsbok are now class six. We can no longer shoot them with the 300. I'm kind of a little bit sad about that, but let's take one down with the 308. Gonna need a tent. And there is one right here. 
what we're actually going to use is the Jernberg. It's good from four to nine and it zeroes up to 200 meters. This is a level three. I don't even see horns, but here we go. There was hardly any recoil there as well. Okay, here she is. And pretty decent, not bad at all. Let's see how far she ran. 139 meters. So the Jernberg really is fairly powerful. So what do you guys think of Gemsbok now being a class six species? Okay, we haven't tried out the new Strandberg 10 SA Executive, the new 10 gauge shotgun. So here it is here. That's the new ammo. So we now have 10 gauge plastic birdshot, buckshot and slugs. I do have slugs loaded in, which are good from classes six to nine. Now with the slugs in, it zeroes in at 50, 100, and 150 meters max. So we're gonna try it out on this lion. I was wondering if he was still there and he is. I'm gonna try for a heart shot, I guess. Is that his face to me or his rear end? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, that, it's really hard to tell. I think he is facing me. I hope he is. I guess we'll find out. It's not dropping. Try again. He's dropping, beautiful. Not dropping quickly. What just happened? Hmm, well, I don't know if we got a vital. He is gonna die. I'm just gonna wait. He's taking his time. He is gonna go splat eventually. Come on, my dude, hurry it up and splat. Okay, beautiful. We have a tent and we did get a vital. Look at that. It's very interesting how very slow he died. Okay, first oh, shot was oh, a good shot. Oh, oh. There is very little penetration. Now I did miss the heart there, definitely, oh, but oh. not a lot of penetration and stopped by the scapula. It could not break through the scapula. Isn't that fascinating? Oh, so oh, not super powerful. Oh. With the slugs, I think I'm gonna stick with using the shotgun to hunt class one species but we will definitely do that in another video very soon. Okay, the last species we're going to test out with both 300s today is going to be lions. So we have two here. Hopefully they won't spook and we can shoot one with each 300. We're 213 meters away. We're gonna start with the 300 AR. Beautiful. Oh, and I didn't reload, so please don't disappear. He's still there. And I don't think we hit him there. I think that was a blank, but we got him on the second shot. And splat, beautiful. Oh, no floaters. I'm gonna change the time and get my floater back. So if ever you don't wanna wait for a floater, guys, just come into the tent. Always do this in the tent because it's 25% cheaper. Put the time forward by one minute and your floater should be on the shore on one side or the other. Now, sometimes they can fall back into the water and start floating again, but then they usually float to you usually and they are both here now so perfect so this guy was shot with the arzina beautiful penetration almost came out the other side and we did have a bit of an angle there so look at that and now with the 300 magnum pretty much the same i'm gonna say they perform pretty much the same on lions either is gonna do an amazing job but all in all the Arzina 300 AR has an insane lack of recoil. Like it has no recoil. Again, you do want three points in recoil management, but it has one shot more than the 300 Magnum. It definitely has way less recoil and it has about the same penetration. So I am loving the new 300 AR. What do you guys think? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching.